Welcome to this video where I show how to take data that is irregular data and um, in DSS view it's called IR day. Um, so we're going to take this irregular data and convert it over to 15 minute and convert it to an average daily value. So I want to show you, um, and this is a continuation from a previous video that we had done, but I want to show you why it is that we call this data irregular. So it appears that it is 15 minute data. However, if we scroll down to April 6th, we can see that there was a gap in the original data from 1.45 to 3 o'clock. So we actually don't have true 15 minute data. And that's not uncommon to have some missing uh, data points or missing time steps or uh, um, even have the time step change you know, on a very lengthy data set. So you want to be careful you know, when you import data into the database that you um, don't import it, say, as 15 minute when you might have some missing data because then your time steps will get thrown off or the data that's associated with certain time steps will be off. So we put this in as irregular day. And actually, let me go back to this because we wanted to look at those time steps. We want to see how DSS handles certain time conversions. So if we look at April 6th, we can see that we have 979 and 987. So 979 at 145 and 987 at 3 a.m. So we're going to convert this over to 15 minute data and we're going to just see how it handles that. So in order to convert it, we want to make sure that that path is highlighted and it will preserve this original path. We go to Tools, Math Functions, and we can. this is going to be a time function, right? So what we want to do is change irregular, because remember it's a IR day or irregular daily data, and um, or irregular data throughout the day. And we're going to change this to a time interval of 15 minutes. So we go ahead and compute and it's very quick compute, it's already done, and we do save the changes. And you can see that it does preserve our original IR day, and it's also made 15 minute data. So we're gonna go check out that April 6th, and see what it did, and make sure that we're happy with the behavior of DSS. So again, we had 979 at 145, and we had 987 at 3 a.m., and it appears that it just interpolated between those two. So I would say that, that it did a good job there. So now if you have a program that you're running and it needs, and you want to run a 15 minute time step, but it needs data for every 15 minutes, then this data set would work, whereas the irregular, uh, uh, irregular time step would not work. So that's how you would convert that over. Now, if you wanted to do a daily average value, again, I, I, we can go ahead and highlight the 15-minute data to do that. And now, I, I don't do a time step conversion on this because I don't find that that works quite as well. Um, so what I would do is I would do a, a time function, but instead of doing a, the conversion of time step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do an average over the period. So I have this uh, new period interval of one day, so I'm taking average values for each day, and I'm going to compute it. You can see it does that very quickly. I do want to save that data. So now we can go look at the comparison between the hour a day and 15 minute, and you shouldn't expect to really see any differences in that because that data was very close to being 15 minute data anyway. Um, so we don't really see much of a difference. Um, I would suspect that we would see a difference between 15 minute and daily average. I would expect to see higher peaks for the 15 minute data since the daily average values tend to uh, mitigate or wash out the peaks a little bit. And if we go take a look at that, we can see that that actually does appear to be happening. Um, so we get um, you know, these daily average values, but they don't capture the peak in the same manner as the 15 minute data does. So you can see that the 15 minute data 
is the green, um, while the average daily values are, are shown by the red line. So that's uh, a little bit about how to convert irregular data to a, a uh, like a 15 minute or to more like a regular time step or regular time interval, and also how to compute daily average from, and you can do that from any time step. We just happen to do it from the 15 minute, but you could do that from any time step that you wanted. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful. Um, if you want to know when more videos come out, feel free to subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching this video.